Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. It's finally Friday y'all and I'm filming a weekend in my life as a second year law student. We are about a week away from two weeks of final exams so this video is going to be all about how I prepare for exams, make the most of my time during the weekends as well as still kind of prioritizing wellness and things that make me happy like spending time with my friends and also just taking care of myself, you know? So if you're new here, I'm so glad you're here. I want to introduce myself. So my name is Kate. I'm in my second year of law school at the University of Kentucky Rosenberg College of Law. Like I said, we have final exams coming up so I'm almost a rising 3L which means I have a year and until I'm done with law school, which is crazy. Now, if you're not interested in law school, my channel has a lot of other things to offer. Productivity, wellness, fashion, travel, you name it, I pretty much show it on my channel. I'm also gonna be moving to Omaha, Nebraska this summer to work a summer associate position, which is really exciting, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, like I said, it's Friday. Now, I don't have classes on Fridays, which is really nice, but I wanted to go ahead and kickstart this vlog just because I just, I just felt like vlogging. I woke up in a good mood this morning. I did some laundry. I talked to my mom. I also just got off of a Zoom meeting. I had to do like a mock consultation for my healthcare organizations and finance class. Basically, I got assigned a question which related to legal courses of action that healthcare professionals can take if they suspect an employee is struggling with substance abuse issues. So I had to basically like write a memo about what they could do legally, if you know what I mean. So that went really well. Now I'm getting ready to go get some groceries and also I need to go to Target because I have a few things I need to pick up. I have a baby shower to go to on Sunday and I still need to get her a gift. It's for my grand little. So during undergrad, I was in Delta Zeta and my little is my best friend. Her name's Allison. You guys have met her many times on the vlogs before, but her little Anna, is having her baby shower Sunday. So I need to go get her something. I used to work at Target and I know that they have super cute baby stuff. So I'm gonna go have a look around there. With that being said, I'm going to head out because I think it's supposed to rain soon and I wanna try to make it in and out of Target before that starts because I don't feel like getting my hair wet today. Okay, I'm back home from Target. I'm gonna do a little haul of what I got and I'm gonna start with what I got for the baby shower. Now she's having a little boy. I haven't been to a baby shower in years. I genuinely don't remember the last one that I was at. So I wasn't entirely sure what to get, but I think I did a pretty good job. So first up, I got this little like rattle toy thing and it's, I think it's supposed to like help babies with listening and like fine motor skills, but I got that. And then I got this adorable little like overall set. This is so cute. I got this in three months, um, like size three months. That way when he's a little bit older, he can wear it and he's gonna be a summer baby obviously. So thought that would be good. And then I got this little newborn set for when he, you know, just wants to be comfy after he's born. <laughs> So I got that. I just got a card. It has a little stork on it. Super cute. And then the bag and then the paper that goes inside the bag. So I also got her two packs of these biodegradable water bikes because I figured she'll probably need those as well. I ended up getting just a couple of grocery items at Target. Honestly, I got to thinking and I really didn't need a ton. So I just got some strawberries to use in my morning parfait that I always make. And then also some walnuts and some sliced almonds. I think I'm pretty much stocked up on everything else. If I need to get more stuff, I can go Sunday. I got Chick-fil-A to have as an early dinner. I've been craving it for about a week now and I just never really like went, but I passed it on my way back from Target and I was like, that's it, I'm, I literally need it. 
So I'm going to eat and then after that I'm going to get started on outlining and studying for exams. I think I'm pretty much done with criminal procedure. You guys kind of watched my process for that one and now I'm working on constitutional law too. I'm just about done with the long outline and basically I just looked up the cases on Quimby and I've copied over the analysis in the rule dissents or concurrences for all of that and then after I'm done with that I'll read through and then I'll go through my notes which are on paper because I can't have a laptop in there and then I'll make a shorter outline based on that and then after that I will make kind of like pre-written answers for things that I am pretty sure are going to be on the exam that way I'm not as pressed for time when I'm taking the exam I can just look at something I've already written and just like copy that over and it'll save me a lot of time so I'll be studying for the rest of today that is the plan and then in the morning me and a few of my friends are getting brunch with a judge they have like an auction and you could pay like ten dollars as an individual fifty dollars as a group and you could go to brunch with a judge or a professor you know that kind of thing so we decided to do that and it's tomorrow so I'm very excited for that dress up have brunch and talk to this judge about her career and her life after that more studying tomorrow it's just really like we're really in the heat of exam season and i know that it doesn't exactly make for the most you know exciting content but it just is what it is like this is the time that i have to really hunker down and study a ton Sunday, like I said, I have the baby shower. Probably not going to vlog that because it's, you know, private, like, event. And I'll be studying Sunday as well. So, that's that. Okay, it's going on 6 o'clock. I've made some really good progress on my outline. I think that I can finish the long one by tonight, which is really promising and I finally feel like I'm making a dent in my study process. I'm a little hungry for a snack and I have some hard boiled eggs left over from last week that I want to go ahead and use up. So I've gone ahead, peeled those and I thought I would show you guys one of my favorite snacks that I make all the time and it's so easy. Obviously you need hard boiled eggs, some relish, Dijon mustard, Paprika, this is optional. Parsley, also optional. Salt and pepper. And then some good old mayonnaise. I'm gonna roll my sleeves up so I don't get this all over my sweatshirt. So what you're gonna do is cut your eggs in half. And then in a separate little bowl or dish or whatever you have, you're just gonna scoop out the yolk. This is like a southern delicacy. Let me know if you've ever had a deviled egg. I'm sure most people have because I feel like it's a very much so like a Thanksgiving slash Easter kind of snack to have. Appetizer, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm going to move the egg whites aside and then start mixing up the filling. So this really just depends on how much you like of each item. I just like to do like a little bit of relish, not that much. You kind of want a good amount of mayo, that way it's creamy and not dry, that's the worst. With mustard, just be a little bit cautious and honestly just add like a little bit at a time because Dijon mustard especially can be a little bit overpowering, so don't add too much. And then salt and pepper to your liking. And then you literally just mash and mix that really, really well. Kind of keep a check on the consistency as you go as well. Okay, I'm gonna do a little taste test. So good. So this is what mine looks like. Some people are really picky about theirs being like very smooth. And if you wanted to put it in like a food processor or a blender or something, you could do that. Or if you just wanted to sit here and mash it for ages, you could do that. But just because I'm only having it as a snack today and I don't really mind the texture, I'm just going to leave it alone. And then you kind of just take the mixture and spoon it back into the eggs. After you have the mixture back into the eggs, you can go ahead and add your paprika 
and your parsley if you decide to add it. The paprika just kind of adds like a little bit of a smoky flavor. Then the parsley is honestly mostly just for looks, but I'm gonna add it because I'm feeling a little extra today. So this is what it looks like after all is said and done. They're not the prettiest things in the world, but they are so tasty and so easy to just kind of whip up as a little snack. Very high protein. I'm just gonna have it with some crackers. I feel like it pairs really well. And this is my little study snack. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Cooking with Kate. <laughs> my appearance I am oiling my hair because tonight is a hair wash night I finished the long version of my constitutional 2 outline so proud of myself and I also reviewed like the first half of my written notes and luckily I feel like I'm remembering everything I'm remembering each analysis for each case and overall I'm just feeling super super proud of myself that I've pretty much gotten that one out of the way. I think tomorrow morning before brunch, I'm gonna get up and go ahead and start working on my shorter outline and my sample answers and maybe even a flow chart because those are really, really helpful for me. And then I'll be done studying for that one and I'll be so happy. Right now I'm about to clean up. I have some dishes that I wanna get done and also I just need to like dust off my counters and my um, coffee table and overall just clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna shower and get this out of my hair and then it's gonna be time for bed. My brain is very tired. I feel like I've had such a good day and I'm so glad that I was able to use today to study and just like get my life together but yeah. I don't know how much more I'll vlog tonight but I'll definitely see you guys in the morning. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. I just finished getting ready for brunch. Super excited to chat with my friends and Judge McClure. I think she... Um, primarily it's like a family court judge which is really interesting because I'm actually taking family law next semester I think I'm getting ready to head out because Katie is picking me up and I will talk to you guys later could I just get a grande iced matcha latte what else can I get for you that'll be it awesome 557 thank you I just made a little Starbies run I'm currently parked at school Brunch was great. I had so much fun just talking to my friends, talking to Judge McClure, and she's so nice and just kind of like funny, you know, like she has her little jokes and we talked about all kinds of stuff, not even exactly related to law or law school, but traveling and her kids endeavors, 10 out of 10, great time. And like I said, now I'm at school, I'm about to head in and get some studying done. I don't really know what my goal is today once I get in there and get set up I think I'll know more of like what I can accomplish it's like 3 p.m. I'll probably be here for like three or four hours and then head back home but yeah wish me luck So as you can see, it's much later. I just showered, did my skincare, and crawled into bed. It's going on like 12 a.m. now, and I've been studying like on and off all day. I came back to my house around 4.30 or 5 and took a little study break and then started back up again. I reread through all of my written notes, and I feel like I have a really good grasp of everything I need to know um, for Con Law 2. And like I said, I have my full outline already done like the long version and I spent some time tonight writing a couple of sample answers in case I need them. 
I'm kind of procrastinating doing that for the bigger issues that are going to require like really complex analysis but there were a few issues like um, the right to bear arms and physician assisted suicide that we only had like a couple of cases for each of those issues so it was really easy to just kind of hash out what an answer might look like on an exam. So I'm feeling pretty accomplished, feeling pretty proud of myself. I'm gonna try to get up kind of early tomorrow so I can get a little bit more done before I go to the baby shower. And then I'll also have a couple of little like household chores that I wanna get done before, before I head out for the baby shower. But I just wanted to update the vlog because I haven't in hours and I missed you guys. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. As pretas não saem do lugar quando cor inglês. Good morning, y'all. I am getting ready for the baby shower. I did get up kind of early this morning and I did my little like Sunday cleaning routine. I am planning on doing like a full spring cleaning video after finals, but um, I just really don't have the time to do like an in-depth deep clean until after finals so I kind of just did like a little spot clean just enough to get me by and make me feel somewhat put together so that's what I did this morning I didn't really study a ton I more so just kind of planned out what I need to get done this week which is still you know gonna be helpful for tonight when I do study but yeah for now I am getting ready just doing quick little everyday makeup routine that I've been doing and I have no idea what I'm gonna wear but I will figure that out it's around 11 o'clock right now the baby shower is at 12 but it's like a 20 minute drive away so I do need to kind of pick up the pace so since I have all of my cleaning done I can pretty much exclusively study as soon as I get back um, from the baby shower. I do kind of want to meal prep because I have to pick up my groceries from Kroger at six or seven, I believe. And just because I know I'm going to be so busy this upcoming week, I just want to have a few things pre-made. That way I don't have to worry about food and cooking and cleaning up while I'm trying to finish up my finals prep. Also, after finals, I'm planning on doing a full video about my law school experience so far and just what I think about it after two years of being in it. And I also want to do a Q&A in that video. So if you have any questions about law school, the LSAT, um, literally anything related to that or just like college, high school even, please ask because I love being helpful and I just want to provide value to you all and make sure that I can help in any way that I possibly can. So hit me with your questions and I'll try to answer them in that video. Okay, my makeup is done. I don't know, I have this like weird little like welt thing on my neck. I don't really know what that is, but oh well. Don't really feel like doing anything to my hair, so I'm just gonna brush it and kind of see what it looks like. Oh, I have a random little curl here. Okay, maybe I need to run the flat iron through it just a little bit. And then I'm going to get dressed, deodorant, perfume, and head to the baby shower. This is what I'm wearing. She's having a little boy, so wearing this blue denim jacket. I have the blue scrunchie on, feeling festive. And then this gray crop top, Zara, like khaki jeans, and then my New Balances. So I'm super excited to see her. And I'll honestly probably see some of my old sorority friends too. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I get back. I've been studying for hours. I've made some really good progress. I made 
way more sample answers for a few more topics for Kong Law 2, but I could kind of feel myself getting like a little bit burnt out, um, just sitting there and like typing for hours. Oh, also the baby shower was great. I did not stay long because I was just kind of feeling stressed out about studying, but it was nice to see Anna. I'm so glad that I got to go see her, but I just ordered pizza and just so I can give myself a break and some like self care time so I don't get too burnt out. I'm gonna shower and maybe do like a face mask, eat when the pizza gets here and then get back to studying. I do have to pick up groceries at six or seven, I believe. And then I need to start preparing for class tomorrow because tomorrow is my long day. One of my long days, I'll have class from 8.30 to four. But yeah, that's the update. Rosie is sleeping still, as you can see. <laughs> You're so sleepy. But that's it, y'all. I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here because I'm literally just gonna be studying for the rest of the day. But let me know what you guys want to see in the vlogs. Let me know any questions you may have. And I'll see you in the next video. I hope you've enjoyed this weekend in my life. Make sure you keep up with me on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.